They have led by example on and off the court. They do not they not only display an incredible work ethic on the court, they also re represent the true meaning of a student athlete in the classroom. Now for our six seven student athletes on the basketball team, starting with number ten, Renee Houston Allen.
Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, this is Staff Gymnasium, home of your Brockton Boxers, and tonight it's a big matchup as the green wave of Abington crash into town to face the Boxers here on Senior Night. As always, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, joined alongside my broadcast partner for tonight's festivities, big game Miles Jackson. Miles, two titans in this game, Jenny Warden of the green wave, Jelani Jackson of the Brockton Boxers, Warden already has a thousand points in our high school career, and Jelani Jackson is 39 points away. Yeah, and um, the box is gonna have to play tough defense on Warden. They cannot let her uh, just go ahead and shoot out there. So uh, we'll see what happens with this. As far as Jelani Jackson, I hope she has a great game. Hope she comes out here with an A game on senior night and shows her senior leadership here at Staff Gymnasium. Miles, there's something about Plymouth County opponents. They all have much more height than the Brockton Boxers. We saw that with Hanover. We're going to see it with Carver. We see it with Abington. Yeah, some, some, um, some tall girls on this team. Some girls got some good weight on them, so um, maybe the Brockton Boxers should try to uh, run them in this uh, basketball game. Right off the bat, Jenny Worden taking the opening tip. She gets it over to Maggie Colley, the senior captain. Back to Worden. Inside to number 21, Olivia Whalen. Whalen to... Marissa Golden, Golden back out to Warden. Abington wearing their away all dark green jerseys, black and white trim. Brockton on the other hand wearing their home whites, black stripe down the side and red trim around the black numbers. Maggie Colley called for the push. Yeah, nice hustle by Renee Houston Allen on that play. She went after the basketball and the Abington player fell on it. Well, Brockton's starting lineup a different, a little bit different than what we're used to seeing. Five seniors right at the top of the roster. Shanti Allen, Renee Houston Allen, Jelani Jackson, Michaela Robinson, and Brianna Santos. All graduating from Brockton High this year and all starting in their second to last game here at Staff Gymnasium. Of course, Sunday night is uh, a makeup game against another Plymouth County opponent in Carver. Worden all the way down for number 24. That is Lauren Kelleher. She puts it off the glass and in. Yeah, and nice. Abington takes first blood. Nice pass by the captain. Right down in the red paint. Had an open man right there. She was ready for the ball. Made the easy basket. Off of the feet of Kelleher. And Brianna Santos is going to be called for the foul. Yeah, not a good pass by the uh, Lady Boxes there. Couple of substitutions to get the other seniors on the floor early. Samantha Say and Angel Uguakazi for the Brockton Boxers. Seven seniors graduating from this team. Three starters in that. Say for three is good, and Brockton has the lead. Yeah, nice shot there by Samantha Say. She was ready for it. Once she got the basketball, she didn't hesitate. She threw it right up. Worden all the way in. A 
I thought she lost it, but it was a very good pass to Kelleher. Jelani Jackson breaking up that opportunity. She takes it off the glass, no good. Rebound to Brianna Santos, six minutes left. In for Uguakazi, her floater no good. And Warden comes down with the rebound for the Green Wave. The Hail Mary pass intended for Marissa Golden. Incomplete in the end zone. Yeah, a little bit too far and too high for uh, the Abington player to get it. Good break for uh, the boxes. And with that, a chance to substitute for the boxers. And now we're seeing some more familiar faces on the court. Alexander Gennaros, the freshman, and Annalicia Fernandez, the junior, on the floor. Fernandez down low for Santos, spinning, shooting, no good. Fernandez to the, with the rebound. Counted and one for Brianna Santos. Yeah, nice job by Santos. She missed the first shot, but she didn't give up. Um, one of her players got the rebound, gave it right back to her, and she put it up this time and made the shot and got fouled. Christiana Remillard, another interesting long name for the Green Wave, finds her way into the game. Santos for three points is good. Yeah, Santos, solid player this year. A lot of senior leadership by Santos. Courtney McCabe off the glass, no good, getting her own rebound, but Fernandez tipping that out of bounds. So Abington retains possession, 28 seconds on the shot clock, 5.23 to go in the first quarter. 62, Brockton on top of Abington. Jenny Warden stopping and shooting from the paint about three feet from the basket and she put it off the front of the rim. Yeah, you can see Jenny has a quick release when she shoots the basketball. She's a good dribbler, dribbler. And she can work it in the paint and get off a shot. Doesn't matter who's on her. Good on her first attempt. She put a lot of spin on that free throw attempt. Nonetheless, it was good. One possession game, six to three, Brockton on top of Abington. And Warden makes it two for two. Six to four, Jelani Jackson to Gennaros. Gennaros one-handing it to Robinson. Robinson back to Jackson. Jackson to Gennaros, top of the key. Back to Jackson, who can't handle a pass that was a headhunter, and that finds its way out of bounds. Yeah, uh, one of the Abington players just tipped the pass, and when it got to uh, Jackson, it was off, and she touched it a little bit and went out of bounds. Gordon flinging it two-handed with a little bit too much mustard on it yeah. for number 10, Maggie Cauley, and that goes out of bounds. Yeah, she knew it, too. Um, Warden, when she passed it, she kind of grimaced like, yeah, a little bit too much mustard. Jackson to Robinson. Robinson to Santos, who is very clearly fouled and dragged down. Jelani Jackson from way downtown off the back of the rim. Jade Wint coming down with the rebound. Scrum on the floor, a jump ball call. And it will remain a Brockton basketball. Yeah, you're exactly right, Matt. Um, Santos, who I believe, was dragged to the floor. Obvious foul, but the uh, referee missed it. Now these same two teams met across the easternmost quarter of Brockton in the first game of the season for the boxers as Jenny Warden misses a three brought down by Jelani Jackson. The score of that game, 54 to 49. The boxers coming out on top. Yeah, that was a nice fast break right there. It was a three on one and they took advantage. Nice shot by uh, Santos. Cauley for three, no good. Brianna Santos coming down with this rebound. Halfway through the first quarter, Santos is fouled by Jenny Warden. Yeah, very interesting. The last few minutes, Abington has gone away from the inside game, and they've decided to shoot the, um, the long ball, and they've missed a number of shots. Shawnee Jackson getting the soft inbound pass over to Michaela Robinson. 
Alex Gennaro's calling for it. Brianna Santos takes a long two, and that is wide left. Excellent work by Jade Went to fling this off of the foot. Yeah, you're exactly right. Jade did not give up. Went over there and nicely uh, deflected it off the defensive player. Santos down low. Jed Gennaro's down low was fouled on her way up. And Abington calls their first time out of the game. Eight to four, 3.36 to go in the first quarter, and Brockton has the lead. Yeah, Brockton's been taking advantage. A good transition game, get the ball down quickly, because um, Abington has a good defense, so um, they want to try and score as many points as they can off the transition game. And they've done a good job so far, hustling for the ball, getting some extra rebounds to uh, put the ball back up in the basket. And um, that's a good reason why they've got a four point lead early in this uh, basketball game. Miles looking ahead, we mentioned Jelani Jackson very close to 1,000 points. Including this game, there's three games remaining in the regular season, not including the Norwell Invitational Tournament. Those opponents, including Abington, are Carver and Marshfield. Those were also the three first games of the season. The scores in those games, 54 to 49, Brockton defeating Abington. 74 to 48, Brockton defeating Carver. And in the third matchup, 58 to 40, the Rams of Marshfield getting the better of the boxers. So a very favorable schedule for the boxers who have clinched the big three division and the automatic berth in the MIAA South Sectional Tournament. Gennaro's missing her last free throw attempt. Brianna Santos picks up the rebound. Gennaro's for three, and that's nothing but net. That was a great effort by Santos to somehow come out of there with the rebound. Ball was on the floor, and she dribbled away at it and gave, a, uh, gave the pass to Gennaro, and she hit the nice shot from outside. It's going to be out of bounds off of Jade Wint, deflecting off of a scrum between Wint and number 35, Christiana Remillard. Discussion of officials and trying to determine who it went out of bounds on and the clock and that whole situation. They do, they are resetting the clock. So it'll be 20 on the shot clock and 317 on the game clock. So they bled about eight seconds off of the shot clock. That's what the holdup was. Warden driving baseline gives it to number 50. She lays it up and in. Matt, Maddie O'Connell. Yeah, nice shot by O'Connell. Moving without the basketball. Went from the free throw line is good. Nice job by Went. She put it right up. She didn't put it on the floor. Got the pass and put it right up. Two forty-five to go. And Colley was fouled on her way to the basket. Michaela Robinson committing her second personal. Yeah, that was a good foul. Almost a five second violation on the green wave. Jenny Warden just inside the paint, and that's good. 14 to eight, Brockton up by six. Yeah, that's almost automatic for Jenny. When she's in the paint that close, it's hard to stop her. Gennaro's for three, and that's good for her second trace of the game. Yeah, hopefully, Gennaro, that's her second uh, three, and hopefully she's gonna be hot tonight. They're gonna need it against this good um, lady wave team. Miles, it's something that we haven't seen a lot this season, particularly from Jelani Jackson and Alex Gennaro. So usually it's drive into the basket, try to get as close as possible, put up a layup. Tonight, it's raining threes. Right now, and, and they're falling, so um, 
whatever works to beat this Abington team tonight. The Lady Boxers will do it. Robinson for three is good. Sweet shot right there. Lady Boxers are hot from the outside here on senior night. And Abington forced to call yet another timeout. Down 12, 20 to eight with two minutes remaining in the first quarter. Miles, the threes are raining down from the heavens. Robinson's got one, Gennaro's got two, Jackson's got one. They're coming from all over the place. Yeah, and the great thing about them making these threes, it's early in the ball game, so it gives them a lot of confidence ahead to um, shoot that three. As long as they keep hitting them, fine. But uh, once they get a little bit cold, they need to start going inside. But right now, threes is, three is the answer. I'll tell you what we saw last year from this very same Green Wave team. Complete domination, about a 50-50 percentage split down the middle, shooting from the outside and the inside. Absolute demolition of the Brockton Boxers. The first matchup, like I said, 54 to 49, Brockton on top. This game, Brockton's up by 12. It looks like they've figured out this very talented Abington Green Wave team that is ranked in the state. Yeah, and the, the thing about the Boxers is they've got a lot of senior leadership, so that's helping them along the way at the moment is this senior leadership. Jenny Warden turning on the Jets, getting around a couple of Brockton boxes, flinging it out of bounds. Off of one of the boxes, I believe it last touched Michaela Robinson, green wave ball. Good defense right there. One of the lady boxes had their hands up. Got to keep your hands up, and you can make plays like that. Stop the, um, the offense. Jelani Jackson intercepting the inbound pass now. 145 to go. Michaela Robinson down low off the glass. A couple of bounces off the rim and in. Oh, nice job, Michaela. She got the pass, was still moving, and somehow got that shot off the glass and in. Nice job by the Lady Boxes on that particular transition game right there. Throwing up a three was Melissa, Marissa Golden. Robinson coming down with the rebound all the way in off the glass and in. That was beautiful by um, Robinson because she avoided the charge, kept herself back away from the ball, um, the defensive player, and somehow put the ball off the glass. And glass. Brianna Santos coming up with a steal, and she's fouled from behind by Jenny Worden. A tough foul right there, but she's a gamer. She's been hammered before, and she. She's wiry, she gets right back up. So Brianna Santos at the line for two shots, trying to put the boxers up by 18 points. 24 to eight the score. Lauren Kelleher comes out in favor of Maggie Colley. for two at the line for Santos, not something we normally see. All the way in for number 35, enough spin on it. Christiana Remillard for two. Yeah, Lady Box has got to watch out for the trailing man. Jade Wint called for the block. It's just an update. As of today, the Boston Globe has Abington ranked 16th in the state. They come in here with a record of 16 and one. Wow, and six ranked? 16th. Uh, ranked in the state. That one loss to the Brockton Boxers. Brockton does not find themselves on that list. Very interesting early on in this ball game how Brockton has come out and um, dominated the uh, Abington Lady Wave 
one reason Brockton has been able to capitalize is Abington has been making their shots, and they've only been getting one shot, one outside shot um, at a time. Brockton has played great defense, get the rebound, and bring it back down court. So Abington needs to um, correct their uh, offensive rebounding um, skills as far as um, when they have the when they have the ball because they've only getting one shot and they're done. So another clock related hold up. There's exactly 40 seconds left. 29 on the shot clock. Oh, come on. Michaela Robinson's third personal of the game. Wow, that was kind of ticky tack there, ref. Elizabeth Williams comes in the game. He had another freshman replacing the senior Robinson. So the last couple of years, it's been Braintree, the big powerhouse in women's basketball in the state, winning the last two state titles. The Womps, Lady Womps. The Lady Womps find themselves fourth in the top 25 in the state. 13 and three. I don't want to see the three teams that beat them. Although the Braintree did graduate four seniors that all went to play in uh, starters for D1 programs last year. The last four or five starters. And it's still fourth ranked. Still fourth ranked. Revere from the north is 16 and 0. Brianna Santos coming up with the rebound. Shot clock off, losing the ball. She's going to be called for a carry? Yeah, yeah. She had it up here when she was coming down. That was, that was a good call. I thought they were going to call her for a travel because she took three steps without the yeah, ball. She had the ball up there by her dri dribbling and kind of got high past her shoulders. Maddie O'Connell with 10 seconds left. Now Jenny Warden. Warden from way downtown off the back of the rim. Jackson chases the ball out of bounds. 1.6 on the clock. It'll be an absolute definition of a Hail Mary, but when in Rome. Jackson hits the net at half court. And the buzzer sounds the score at the end of the first quarter, 24 to 10 miles, a 14 point edge for the Brockton Boxers. They've done a lot of things right so far. Yes, they have. And, and, and one thing in favor of them right now, um, Jenny Warden, she's um, pretty cold from the outside. And um, that's another reason the Green Wave hasn't really stayed with the Boxers up to this point. We're still early in the ball game, just starting the second quarter, but Again, the, the, the box is doing a good job on the defensive boards, giving the Abington uh, team one shot when they shoot it from the outside, and they haven't been hitting them. And Brockton has been able to get the rebound and come back down the court and, for the most part, score. Well, 24 to 10 at the end of the first quarter. We're going to step aside, take a short break, and bring you second quarter action right after this. Your daughter is having trouble learning French. Do you, A, hire a tutor? Bonjour. B, enforce a French-only rule at home. Or C, watch some foreign films. When it comes to parenting, there are no perfect answers. But that's okay, because you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Teens in foster care will love you just the same. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium. Now for second quarter action, between the Abington Green Wave and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog, Matt Nelson. Joined alongside big game, Miles Jackson. Brockton up 24 to 10 over the Lady Green Wave. The most fearsome of all high school athletes. The Green Wave crashing into town from Brockton's easternmost border. Oh, come on. If anything, that should have been a, a jump ball. Five second violation, a oh, three five. second violation on the green wave. Oh, okay, all right, very good, very good. 
It was called a hold on Annalicia oh, yes. Fernandez. Come on. That, that, I don't know about so. that call. Yeah, I, I, I thought it should have been a jump ball. Either way, Matty O'Connell at the line. Abington now in a bonus situation. O'Connell made her first and earns a second. Yeah, interesting how Abington's already in a bonus situation. We just started the second period. So that's not going to be in Brockman's favor. But worth noting, three of the seven fouls are against Michaela Robinson. Williams getting it to Gennaros. Gennaros to Jackson, back to Gennaros. Hard in to Fernandez, who chases it baseline to the corner. Brianna Santos underhanding it to Jackson. Jackson to Gennaros. To Santos to Jackson from downtown is good. A big shot right there by Jackson. Jackson's first trace of the game, and that Puts her at 36 points needed for the 1,000. Cauley loses it. The refs checking with each other to make sure there was no foul on that. And also to see who it was off of. And um, one of the referees said it was off of uh, the boxes, which is a good call. Good defense by the boxes. I normally don't criticize officials unless it was with that Holyoke game where the boxers got robbed. These referees tonight, as much as they're, they're calling the right calls, they haven't been very deliberate as Annalicia Fernandez puts it off the, yeah, yeah. Off the glass. That, that was a nice job working it into Fernandez. That was a tough shot she got off, but she got it off and made the shot. Jenny Warden starting and stopping all the way in and stepping out of bounds. Nice defense by the boxes down there, down low. Denying the captain of uh, Abington any space and uh, stepped out of bounds. Gennaro sitting for Jackson. Jackson was bear hugged. Yeah, I mean, that should have been and a foul. no foul. Yeah, no foul. I mean, come on. If you're going to play ticky-tack fouls, call them on both sides. A little poetic justice, the ball off of Abington. So Brockton getting the ball back. Jelani Jackson to Gennaros. Gennaros pump fakes, driving inside. And fouled by... Number 21, Olivia Whalen. Called for, and I quote, two hands. Gennaro's good on her first attempt. Brockton now in a bonus situation. 6.15 to go in the first half. Yeah, this is a pretty physical game so far. One or two at the line. Santos coming down with the rebound. Gets it to Gennaros. Gennaros in for Annalisa Fernandez. Back to Gennaros. Her short two is good. Oh, that was a cute little move, little play right there. Gennaros moved past the ball, then came right inside, moving without the basketball, and they gave it right back to her. Nice job by the Lady Boxes. Abington calling yet another timeout. Yeah, right now, I'm sure Abington's a little bit frustrated, especially the coach, trying to figure out what to do. I mean, right now, Brockton's got the hot hand from the outside, and that's what's giving them a little bit of a lead here. But um, they can't let up. That's the key. They cannot let up, even though they might have a double-digit lead. The key is to keep playing with intensity throughout the ball game, no matter what the score is. Because this Green Wave, Lady Green Wave team can come right back and make this game very interesting. Like I said, we're still early in the um, first half. We're in the second quarter, 6.03 on the clock. So a lot of basketball to go here at Staff Gymnasium. 32 to 14, the boxers on top of the green wave. Gordon 
getting the inbound pass and now taking it, driving inside, starting, stopping, putting up a wild shot, getting her own rebound, and this one almost straight up from under the bucket yeah, that was, that was is a, good. That was a good shot. That was a tough shot. Williams off the glass and in. Oh, nice job good by Williams. Good awareness by ready. the freshman. Yes, the freshman was ready. Wholesale substitutions getting ready for the green wave. From way downtown is wide to the right for Courtney McCabe. Closer to the half court line than the three point line. Yeah, green wave is put in three fresh bodies because um, they need they need their um, their win back and uh, because boxes are running the ball when they get the basketball they, they quickly get it down the court five second violation called against the Abington Green Wave Brockton takes over with some stingy defense on the inbound attempt and exactly. Abington had nowhere to go with it exactly stingy is a good word Matt Jackson all the way in off the glass no good O'Connell coming down with the rebound. She quickly hands it off to Jenny Warden. Warden for O'Connell, her short two is good. Yeah, Brockton can't make it that easy. Jackson pump faking the pass to Gennaros. The green wave fell for that. Went to Gennaros, Gennaros to Jackson from way downtown. Is nothing but net. She was five feet outside the three-point line, and she still didn't need the backboard. Excellent shot. Nice ball movement by the Lady Boxers. Number 24, Lauren Kelleher underneath the basket. Her shot no good. Santos coming down with the rebound, turning it over to Jenny Warden. Warden is up and in, counted and one. Brianna Santos called for the hit. That was some real good hustle by the captain of the green wave there. Got her fingers, had her hands out. Got her fingertips on that basketball on the inbounds and uh, was able to grab it and fight her way to get two points and has a chance for a three point play. Jelani Jackson now at 967 points in her Brockton High School career. Two three-pointers tonight. Gennaros to Santos. Santos looking for Jackson. Instead finds Williams. Williams in for Wentz. Went to Gennaros. Gennaros to Santos. Her three off the front of the rim. No good. Follows her shot. And it's going to be an offensive foul against and that was a good call, good call. She went in kind of wild and banged bodies with one of the um, Abington players. Brianna Santos called for the pretty obvious push. She's replaced now by Annalicia Fernandez. At the line is Olivia Whalen. A one and one shooting situation for the Green Wave. No good. Jade Went coming down with the rebound. Gets it to Jelani Jackson. Good rebound by Went. Gennaro's quick two is good. Oh, that was sweet. Out little, of nowhere. Yeah, a little sweet double, little sweet dribble. Faked the uh, defensive player out. Had an open shot and took it. Quick release by Gennaro's. Maggie Colley has her pass intercepted by Alex Gennaro's. Gennaros to Williams, back to Gennaros, finding Jackson now. Pump fakes, drives inside, she's fouled, and will be at the line. And, and going back to that great defensive play by Gennaros, she had her hands up, got a piece of the ball, and, and stole the ball. Well, the player to watch, absolutely no doubt, Alex Gennaros in the first half to this point. She's got 14 points. Yeah, she's hot. Down low, contorting the body to put up a shot, and no good. 
Gennaros to Jackson, Jackson to Williams. Her three is no good off the front of the rim. Two boxes fighting for it. Gennaros comes away with it. In for Jade Went out to Williams to Fernandez. Went has it broken up from behind. Jenny Warden comes away with the loose ball. Warden's shot no good. This ball ping-ponging around. Gennaros gets it in front of the Brockton bench. One handing it all the way up for Fernandez. Gonna be out of bounds off of Marissa Golden. And we have a quick moment to take a breath. Yeah, I tell you, Gennaris is all over this basketball court, defense as well as offense. She's making things happen. And she's a freshman. And she's a freshman. Maggie Cowley coming back in the game, the senior captain of the Green Wave. She replaces Jenny Warden, who has really been the only Green Wave player to have any successes against the Brockton Boxers today. Now see, Brockton has to take advantage with uh, with um, the captain now, Warden. They need to take advantage here while she's getting some rest on the bench. Jade went to Elizabeth Williams. No look to Jelani Jackson. Eight on the shot clock. Gennaros driving inside. Puts it off the glass. No good. Oh, and come a travel on. Call. Come on. That was... I don't I, I didn't see the travel. Well, well, what a beautiful job by Gennaro's to drive to the basket. Somehow get the shot off and made the shot. Would have been good, a terrible angle. One-handed hook layup. Jackson getting in the passing lane, tipping it to Annalisa Fernandez, back to Jackson. Jackson driving inside, puts up a floater and that's good. Wow, what a hard shot, she made it on the left-hand side of that basket. That was a tough shot. Rocked it up by 20, uh, 41 on, where's to the 21. Carry? Where's the carry? Maggie Cauley. Oh, they, got, they got away with that one. Okay, that's a makeup call. That's right a right makeup there. call. That's a makeup call. Warden back in the game. Brockton up by 20, 41 to 21. Yes, a minute and a half left in the second quarter. Yeah, Coach Moore, Moore knows he can't keep um, Warden out too long. Brockton's uh, up by 20 points. They got, a, they got about four points while she was out. She was only out for about a minute. Jackson one-handing it to Williams. Back to Jackson. Thought about the three. Now to Gennaros. Gennaros driving inside, flings it, looking for the very tips of Annalisa Fernandez's fingertips, and it doesn't connect out of bounds. Green wave ball, Broughton working the full court press now with 1.15 to go in the second quarter. Jenny Warden bringing it up for the green wave. Warden spinning with it. Hand check called against Elizabeth Williams, my favorite invisible call in the book. That and armbar. What is this, mixed martial arts? Warden missing her first attempt now, two for three on the day from the charity stripe. Yeah, Ward, well, she's a good free throw shooter, but uh, tonight, right now, up to this point, she really hasn't had the hot hand. I mean, she's, she's gotten quite a number of shots underneath the basket, made some good good points there, but uh, her outside shooting is off tonight. There's Gennaro, Gennaro step back two, and that's good. Under a minute to go now, 45 seconds. Jenny Warden over to Golden. Golden looking for somewhere to go with it, finds Warden again. Now Warden had some room, instead runs into four Brockton boxers and Gennaros comes away with the loose ball. She loses it right back to Jenny Warden. All the way in, her wild shot no good, but she was fouled. Yeah, it was a good foul. Lead by number three. Williams called for the hit and Warden at the line for two shots. Yeah, good foul by, um, who was that again? Elizabeth Williams. Elizabeth Williams. She made uh, Warden work for the shot. She didn't make the shot, so she's gonna have him make him at the free throw line. First one is good. Well, 
Two of two this time around, now five of six on the day for Jenny Warden from the stripe. Shot clock is off, 20 seconds to go. Jelani Jackson with it for Brockton. Jackson, wild shot off the top of the glass, no good. Jade went taken down hard by number 35, Christiana Remillard. Yeah, good defensive position by Went. She got a position, waited for the uh, rebound, went up for the rebound, was hammered from behind, and uh, she's at the free throw line now for uh, some good hustle. Forty-four to twenty-four. Fifteen seconds to go. Brockton up by twenty. Even though Fernandez was out of bounds, that was great hustle by Fernandez to get that rebound. Warden fouled by Williams. Again, that was a ticky-tack foul. And check. Come on. She was three feet away from her. Come on, refs. 9.2 to go. Both teams now in a double bonus situation. Warden at the line. Missing number seven in the first half. Now five of seven. Jelani Jackson, eight seconds on the clock. Up to Gennaros, three seconds. Gennaros puts up a floater, no good. Jade Wentz layup will not count. The buzzer sounds, the first half has come to an end. 44 to 25, Brockton up miles by 19 points. What does Brockton have to do to keep up the pressure, keep the foot on the gas? That's what they have to do. They have to come back second half like it was nothing, nothing, and put on the heat. Put, get to put the good defense on their star player and um, just keep hustling and um, shooting those threes and making them and, and, and they should be okay but right now we still got two quarters of basketball to go so and we know this um, I believe six rank 16th rank team of uh, Abington they're only 16 they're 16 and one so I see them uh, making a good comeback in the second half um, just as long as Brockton doesn't bow down. 44-25 at halftime. The Brockton Boxers leading the East Border Rivals, the Abington Green Wave. We're going to step aside and take a short break and bring you second half action right after this. Bye, Janet. It's nice seeing you See again. You, you a good girl. Just let me know what I can do to help. Well, to help me, she'd have to help every day. Every hour, every ouch, every time my wife calls for help. I mean, maybe she could help me make her lunch. But the crust, all the crust has to be cut off the corners. She could help me run to the doctor for the fifth time this week. Help me with the specialist and the second opinions and the painful paperwork about paperwork. Help me deal with how hard it is seeing my wife's name on so much paperwork. But this is on me. I'm the only one who can do this, like this, for her. Besides, Take care. we will. <laughs> Janet doesn't like her cooking anyway. Find support for your strength. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving for care guides and community. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, basketball fans of all ages, welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for second half action between the Brockton Boxers and the Abington Green Wave. Once again, I'm Matt Dog, Matt Nelson. Join alongside my broadcast partner for tonight's festivities, big game, Miles Jackson. Miles, a very big game in the first half for the Brockton Boxers. They come in with a 19-point edge, 44-25 to over Abington. Yeah, it was nice to see them come out with their A game on, and uh, that's why they have the big lead at the moment. But they're going to have to come out with their A, the A game in the second half if they want to keep the uh, Abington team away from coming back because they do have the potential of coming back with the team that they have. Miles, two interesting little factoids from the first half. There were 19 total fouls between the two teams, and Alexandra Gennaros has 16 points. Yeah, she, she, she came out of the gate hot, hit her first two three-pointers, and she's been on fire ever since, along with good defensive play by um, the Lady Boxers. 
Speaking of Gennaros, it's her with the inbound pass intended for Michaela Robinson, broken up. Jenny Worden comes away with it. Gennaros kicking it over to Jelani Jackson. Gennaros for Santos, and she stepped out of bounds. Good, good hustle by the boxes to, to get the ball back after they lost it. Abington wearing their away all green jerseys. Gennaros intercepting the inbound pass. Brianna Santos for three, looks good, and it is good. That was a big shot by Santos. They needed that right off the bat to continue where they left off in that first half. Anyway, Abington wearing their away all green jerseys, green shorts, black and white striped down the side, white trim around the black numbers. Brockton, on the other hand, their home whites, black striped down the side of the shorts and red trim around the black numbers. Yeah, Ma Michaela Robinson was called for the foul. She was pleading her case, and she had reason to. Another ticky-tack foul called Her. on the Lady Boxes. Michaela's fourth such of the game, and she will come out in favor of Jade Wint. Senior night here at Staff Gymnasium. There are seven seniors on Brockton's roster. Those include Ashanti Allen, Renee Houston Allen, Jelani Jackson, Michaela Robinson, Brianna Santos, Angel Uguakazi, and Samantha Say. Starting to get the hang of that, that big name there, Angel. <laughs> Fernandez down low off the glass and in, Brockton up by 23. Beautiful job by Fernandez to get the ball inside and quickly puts it up and in off the glass. Jenny Worden followed by Fernandez, who knew she did something wrong. Yeah, she reached in. Jenny Worden to number 21, Olivia Whalen. Whalen to number four, Marissa Golden. She puts it high off the backboard and in for three. Yeah, that was a pretty shot. Like you said, high off the backboard and in. Jade Went, no good from beyond the arc and an offensive foul. Fernandez called for the push. Worden finding some open space on the floor, driving inside, fouled on her way to the basket. And Alicia Fernandez called for the block. I did not like that call. That was a t another ticky-tack foul called on the lady boxes. Elizabeth Williams in to replace Fernandez. Worden, one of two at the line. 20 point game, 49 to 29. Brockton up. Jelani Jackson with it. Handing off to Brianna Santos. Santos for three is going to come up short. Might have been tipped. Gennaros flinging it, looking nice. for Williams. Good job by Gennaros. Williams to Jelani Jackson. Five and a half to go. Ten on the shot clock. Jelani Jackson stopping and popping along. Two Ooh, is that, good. That was a tough shot. She had somebody on her hand in her face, and she still made the shot. Rockton takes over and downs. Jenny Warden kicking it out of bounds. Great defense by Gennaro's there on, on, on the star, on um, Abington star player. Made her commit a turnover. Jackson to Williams to Gennaro's. Stopping and popping. Step back two, no good. Jade went coming down with the rebound and she was fouled midair. Wow, that, that was a very headsy play by Jay Went. She got the rebound and once she got the rebound, she put it right back up and got fouled. Looked a little awkward, but the, she got the call. Couple of substitutions, Lauren Kelleher and Caitlin Diver both into the game the storyline that we are following as the boxer season runs down. 
is Jelani Jackson, 10 points on the evening. That brings her to 971 in her Brockton High School career. Just a short 29 away from the big 1,000 mark, and she's got the ball now. Now, I think with the lead they have, it's 52-29. Brockton might want to take a little bit of time off. The, when they get the ball like they just had the offensive ball, they might want to take a little time off the clock. Um, you know, it, as long as it doesn't mess up their chemistry of the ball game as they're playing, playing the game. But the clock could be in the advantage. This is the first game that the boxers have had in just north of a full week. Of course, the Brockton area getting hit by that awful stuff that falls from the sky. The last time the Boxers played, it was against New Bedford last Tuesday night. So exactly one week and one day between games. And half of those days did not include a practice for the Brockton Boxers because they were snowed out of the school. Yeah, they had three on the Brockton school had school system had three days off. Thursday, Friday, Monday. I wish I could have had a five day weekend in the middle of Brockton calling their first time out of the game. And that's a good time out by the coach of uh, the Lady Boxes. Still up by 21 points, but you can sense Abington kind of pulling a little bit of momentum. They've, they've kind of found their offensive vibe a little bit, yep. and they're starting to get into Abington form. Yeah, uh, definitely so. With the last couple of minutes, they've looked, a, looked pretty good. Brockton has counted a little bit, but uh, like you said, we Brockton and Lady Boxes do not want Abington to get the momentum going here, so that was a good timeout by head coach uh, April Dingwell. Let's talk about the upcoming schedule for Brockton High Athletics. Might want to sit down for this one. I had to take some aspirin after hearing this one. We have a day off. Thursday, a complete day off from anything Brockton High Sports. And then we get into a stretch of five games in three days. Hockey, four o'clock puck drop on Friday. Basketball, seven o'clock tip off on Friday. Saturday, same timeline, hockey at four, basketball at seven. And Sunday, a 2 p.m. tip-off. That is the Lady Boxers against Carver right here at Staff Gymnasium. And then we've got President's Day hockey. We've got hockey Monday, Wednesday, and Friday next week. And then we get into tournament time for all three of the winter sports that Brockton Community Access follows. Jelani Jackson for three, no good. Santos coming down with the rebound. Putting that up, no good. Brought down by number 40, Caitlin Diver. Renee Houston Allen for two, and that's good. Great hustle by the Lady Boxes there. Well rewarded there with two points. And that was a Shante Allen, number 20. Shante, one of the seniors, I believe, playing this evening. Got a big ovation. Fifty-four to thirty-one, just past the halfway point of the third quarter. Brockton up over the Abington Green Wave. Alex Gennaros spinning inside, finds herself surrounded by a Green Wave. Jelani Jackson for three, and that's good. Great job by the Lady Boxes moving the ball around till they find the open man, and they found Jackson. Warden from way downtown, no good. Jade went running to get grabbing the rebound, no call. Yeah, Jade Jake Jackson with it now. Jade went playing some, some yeoman defense under the boards. Getting banged around and still coming up with the rebound. Jackson to Santos. Santos all the way in, no good. Went out of nowhere, grabs the rebound, and she's fouled. And you mentioned it, Jade went. The MVP in the paint right now for the Brockton Boxers. Yep, Jade went right after that rebound, saw the shot taken by her teammate, went right over there and hustled for the basketball and got fouled. Couple of substitutions, Kaylin Mahoney 
Big number 55 in. Went one or two at the line. It's going to remain. Yeah, I think um, Lady Box is one of them left, left the line early. Jenny Warden coming down with the inbound pass. 58 to 31. Three minutes to go. Warden all the way in, loses it. No foul call. Gennaro's coming up with the loose ball. Gennaro's all the way in, gets it to Santos. Santos can't control it. It pops out. Ashanti Allen diving down to the floor, and she's called for the backcourt violation as she slid across the half court line. Yeah, I think Ashanti could have. Um, she she could have gotten she, that. She, she could have gotten that if she didn't fall down. I think she, if she didn't have to dive for it, let's just say that she did not have to dive for the basketball. She could have. She was quick enough to get over there to get it. I think she just misjudged it. Number ten, Maggie Colley. Her shot no good. And Gennaro's ripping away the rebound all the way up for Santos. She was in on a breakaway, and Abington was able to catch up as Santos had to spin around to grab the pass. Yeah, not, not a good pass there. One of the few mistakes tonight by the Lady Boxes. Number 35 fouled, I believe, by Jade Wint. Yeah. That's, that's gonna go against Ashanti Allen. Yeah, Christiana. Re Millard, she kind of bowled her way in there. You can tell she uh, injured her leg just above her knee a little bit. Still trying to stretch that out. Rainbow shot, no good off the front of the rim. 58 to 31, 208 to go. Christiana Remillard at the charity stripe. And 0 for 2. Santos grabbing the rebound and it's gonna be an Abington basketball. The ref looked confused on which way Didn't he wanted he to confused? call that. Yeah. Jelani Jackson stealing the inbound pass now. Two minutes to go, Brockton up by 27 points. Jackson to Gennaros. Gennaros to Allen. Allen to Jackson. Jackson for two is no good. Went on the rebound, uh, up and in. Great job by Went. She's playing a yeoman game. Moved without the basketball, positioned herself on the offensive rebound. Got it, put it right back up. This is one of her best games I've seen uh, Went play this year. Polly to Golden, her three no good, brought down by Lauren Kelleher. Kelleher puts up a shot, no good. Gets her own rebound, that's no good. Jump ball called, Jade Went again in on the action. Jade Went, yeoman, yeoman effort out there. And it's going to remain a Abington basketball off of the jump ball. Jade Went, she's only a sophomore. So we're gonna see a lot of her. Jackson tipping the shot. Mercy Golden put up a three and out of nowhere, Jackson came flying in and Brianna Santos is going to take a breather with 120 remaining in the third. She is replaced by number 12, Jacilma Montron, the junior. Gennaro's coming up with the rebound up to Jade Went Went in alone, puts up a wild shot, no good. And Abington coming away with it. All the way in now for Christiana Remillard, and she can't handle it. And the crowd is starting to come alive a little bit. Yeah, they, you know, they, they, they smell victory, even though we got a minute left in this third quarter, and you got one more quarter to go. But I tell you what, Abington is rattled a little bit right now, being down by 29 points. I never would have thought it at the beginning of this basketball game that mm -hmm. your Lady Boxers would be up by 29 points with about less than a minute to go in this th uh, third quarter. Gennaro's driving baseline, and that's good off the glass and in. Yeah, Gennaro's doing her thing outside as well as inside. She's all world as a freshman. That's a scary thought. She's still got three more seasons? Yes. 
That's a beautiful thing for the Lady Boxes. Travel called against Lauren Kelleher. Just someone mantra enforcing that one. I mean, Gennaro's basketball sense is just unbelievable for a freshman. She's really got good senses, knows what to do with the basketball when she gets it. Just good sense. I'd have to say, great job, Dad. Solani Jackson, wild shot, no good. Kelleher coming down with the rebound. This one trickles out of bounds off of Abington. The buzzer sounds. The third quarter now has come to an end. Brockton adding to their lead, doubling up the Abington Green Wave, 62 to 31, a 31 point edge for the Brockton Boxers. Yeah, just an excellent job there. Defense was the name of the game in that third quarter for the Lady Boxers. They overcame some um, calls. They overcame some um, pretty good shooting by uh, by uh, Abington early on in that third quarter. But somewhere late in the third quarter, Brockton Lady Boxers just kind of opened it up with their defense and just kind of ran the table out there, increased this lead. 62 to 31 at the end of the third quarter. We're gonna step aside and take a short break and bring you the fourth quarter right after this. You don't have to be so strong. Strength is not optional. This is my mother, my purpose. Real muscle is lifting her spirits between bedpans and bad news from doctors that doubt her strength. Strength is buried in bills, managing meds and swallowing those moments of, mom, it's me, your daughter, remember? My strength is super, but I'm still human, right? Find support for your strength. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving for care guides and community. Welcome back into Staff Gymnasium for fourth quarter action between the Abington Green Wave and the Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, joined alongside my broadcast partner for tonight's festivities, big game Miles Jackson. Miles, a 31-point edge for the Brockton Boxers. Alex Gennaros with 18. And the bigger number than that, Jelani Jackson, who has the ball now for Brockton at 974 in her high school career here at Brockton High. Well, I tell you, so far, what I've really liked about this Lady Boxer team tonight is they've played a complete team game. Everybody really has con contributed who's been out on that um, basketball court tonight. Excellent job by the Lady Boxers so far. Gennaros to Brianna Santos. Santos handing it to Jelani Jackson. Five seconds on the shot clock. Robinson for three, no good. Offensive board to Alex Gennaros. Reverse layup, no good. Yeah, it's gonna be tipped out of bounds off of Jenny Worden for Abington. Brockton with a fresh shot clock will have possession. Yeah, right now everything's clicking for the Lady Boxes. You had two Abington um, players out there to get the rebound and it went off one of their hands. They just couldn't handle it. Robinson to Jelani Jackson. 15 on the shot clock. Jelani Jackson underhanding it to Gennaros. Gennaros trying to find Santos and fi instead finds Jenny Worden and Gennaros makes up for it by stealing it. Brianna Santos all the way in off the glass and in. Excellent pass by Gennaros. Great defense by the Lady Boxes. They've really given this Abington team fits all evening. Lauren Kelleher losing it. And basically the Lady Boxers, you can see they're a quicker team than the, excuse me, than the Green Wave. Danielle Panico into the game for the Green Wave. Jenny Worden for Kelleher, and coming up with the steal is Michaela Robinson, two on one to Gennaros, off the glass, no good. Jade Wint with the rebound, and she puts it up and in. Jade Wint was not involved in that play, but she came down the court, followed the play, followed her teammates, and came up with the rebound and put it in. Nice play by the, um, the um, big center or forward by Miss Jade Wint. Wholesale substitutions for the Green Wave. It, it looks like Edmonton's consenting the the, um, the Lady Boxers' victory by bringing in their second stringers with still 6.09 left in his ball game, but look at the score, Matt. 66 to 31, Brockton on top. Maddie O'Connell 
at the line. Allison Dennehy, Sarah Cochran, and Courtney McCabe into the game. Warden, Kelleher, and Olivia Whalen. I'll take a seat on the Green Wave bench. And Caitlin Diver will replace O'Connell at the next stoppage. Santos to Jelani Jackson. Six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Robinson for Gennaros. Gennaros to Jackson. Halfway to the half court line, no good. Jade went, yet another rebound and yet another easy layup for the big guy in the paint, Jade Wynn. Again, she's having her best game of the season. Since I've seen her out here on the basketball court, this is her best game I've seen her play. Jelani Jackson with 13 points on the day to Gennaros. Her three is no good. O'Connell coming down with the rebound. And a timeout called by head coach Stephen Moore of the Abington Green Wave. 5.17 to go in the fourth quarter, 68 to 33 miles. I say this quite honestly, we have not seen a more complete game by the Brockton Boxers this entire season. Yeah, you hit it right on the button. Very complete game. They've come out here with their A game and, and just ran it to perfection. Defense has been great all game. Their offense has been awesome. Um, they're using the clock well here in the second half. Um, it's been a complete team effort by, again, everybody who's been out on the court has contributed to this win. I mean, well, it's not a win yet. We still got 5.17 on the clock, but everybody's contributed to this, to this blowout right now, Matt. Miles, the question is gonna be, where is the 16th in the state ranked Abington Green Wave? Or you could spin it the other way, Where's this team been all year for the Brockton Boxers? Exactly. Um, and if they make they if they make the playoffs, well, I guess they did make the playoffs because they won the big uh, the big three. But they need to come into the playoffs with this type of attitude against whoever they play. Down low, no good. Number twenty three, Jelani Jackson, coming up with it for the Boxers. To Gennaros had plenty of room and time. Back to Gennaros, over to Robinson, back to Gennaros, over to Santos. Now hard across for Jelani Jackson, her three off the glass and hitting the top of the backboard. Out of bounds off of Brockton with 4.43 to go in the fourth quarter. Yeah, Jelani likes taking them long threes. I think if she could have took a step in, would that would have been her spot. I think thought she was a little bit too far out. Gennaros once again clogging up the passing lane. This one forced out of bounds off of Abington. Brockton taking over. And Gennaro's been a thorn in Abington's side as far as defense goes. She has that canny ability to go, go after that basketball while the, um, the, the uh, offensive play is dribbling it. And a lot of times she has success in stealing it, as we've seen this evening. Gennaros in for Santos. Santos putting up a shot. Fouled on her way towards the rim, and she will be at the line for two shots. Yeah, Santos did a nice thing there. She got the ball in the paint, but she saw a little opening to go to the left side and try to lay it up. She went up and got fouled. Nice, nice decision. Missing her first attempt was Brianna Santos, the senior. 0 oh for 2, Jade Wint coming down with the rebound, giving it back to Brianna Santos off the glass, and this Man. one is good for 2. Nice, nice. She got them 2 points because of um, Jade Wint. Brianna Santos coming away with the loose ball, and she turns it over now to number 30, Courtney McCabe. McCabe looking long, is complete to number 40, Caitlin Diver. Jelani Jackson to Robinson. Robinson pump fake for three, no, 
No shot. Now she'll take it for three. No good off the back of the rim. Abington coming down with the rebound. Abington's B team in the game now as all five starters find themselves resting on the bench. And number 40, Caitlin Diver, is at the line for two shots. Nice job by Abington getting the ball down quickly before Brockton's defense could set up. Brianna Santos getting a breather and Alicia Fernandez into the game. Jade went with yet another rebound. I'd like to see the numbers on that. Yeah, exactly, I love to see the numbers on her rebounding this evening. Gennaros for three is no good. Fernandez fighting for the rebound. It's going to be out of bounds off of Brockton. Just a little fun fact, Matt. I was looking at uh, Jade Went. Her number 35 was worn by an old school Boston Celtic um, team member back in the late 60s, early 70s. Paul Silas. They called him the, the chairman. Days. Yes, they called him the chairman of the boards because his expertise was just controlling them boards. And just what Jade Went is doing. Paul Silas would be proud of of her wearing his number at the moment and doing the job that she's doing tonight out there on the basketball court. Renee Houston Allen comes in and uh, replacing Annalicia Fernandez. A couple of more African substitutions. Brianna McCadden and Kaylin Mahoney both in the game. Two of two at the line was Yael Panico. Now 70 to 39, Brockton up by 31 points. Houston Allen to Michaela Robinson. Robinson to Jackson. Jackson having a very good game, 13 points. Michaela Robinson down low to Jade Went. No good, gets her own rebound, and Renee Houston Allen comes up with a loose ball to Michaela Robinson. Robinson. Up and down to Renee Houston Allen, her three, no good. Jade Went with yet another rebound off the glass, no good, coming down with another one. She's a beast tonight. To Jelani Jackson, she had time and room for three, instead opted to waste some more time off the clock. 2.09 to go that's with a smart, on the shot me, That's a smart guard play right there, Matt, for Jackson. To, she could have shot it, but like you said, she came back out, took some more time off the clock. Jackson for three, no good. Panico has her pass intercepted and thrown out of bounds off of Abington by Michaela Robinson. Rockton will take over and some substitutions for the boxers. Ashante Allen and Samantha Say. Angel Uguakazi. So the seniors all playing the first couple of minutes and the last couple of minutes. Alex Gennaros, the lone underclassman on the floor for the Brockton Boxers. Samantha Say, who had a big three early, over to Houston Allen, to Gennaros, to Ashanti Allen. Seven on the shot clock. A lot of passing for the Boxers and a turnover. And air ball for Renee Houston Allen. Huh. Out of bounds off of Abington and number five, Allison Dennehy. Jasuma Montron will replace Alex Gennaros. They missed on the, on the high, five. high five exchange coming out, but Gennaros gets they a well deserved. They went back for it. Well deserved uh, little ovation as she came out. Samantha Say to Montrond, her three is good. Wow. Well, she didn't waste no time coming off the bench and hitting that big time tree, Montrond. Under a minute to go, Mahoney for the green wave. Over to Panico in what has been a complete and very complete 
demolition, a destruction of the 16th in the state ranked Abington Green Wave. And those are not outdated rankings. They were published at 10 o'clock in the morning this morning by the Boston Globe. Be interesting, Matt, to see if um, the Lady Boxers get in, break the top 20. Um, They've now beat Abington twice. Twice. And, and Abington's ranked 16th. 16th. Abington will move to 16 and two on the year. And those two losses have come to the Brockton Boxers. I think the Lady Boxers have grown this season. Um, I've seen them elevate to a team that can basically play with anybody that's comparably their size, as long as they're not trees. Like out Hanover. There, like Hanover. But they're the exception. Save for three, no good. Shot clock off. This will go out of bounds. Off of Brockton, 16.9 to go. Miles, this is the toughest question you'll have to answer all night. You got one game ball to give. I'll, I'll even I'll make it easy. You got three candidates: Jelani Jackson, Alexander Gennaros, Jade Went. You got to give it to one of them. You know what? I'll throw in a fourth, Brianna Santos. Yeah, that, that's a tough one here on senior night. Uh, I tell you, I, I have to give it to, um, I say tonight because of the dominating um, way she played under the boys tonight. Jade went, basically kept Abington away from coming back in that second half. She just dominated the boards. Um, of course, the other lady boxers, they hit their shots. They did what they had to do, but Jade went just stepped, just stepped up this evening and really showed out there on, on the offense and defensive boards and um, kept the green way from getting anywhere close to the Lady Boxes here on senior night. The buzzer sounds and this one's over 73 to 42 the final score. Miles, I gotta agree with you. Defense wins championships yes. and the biggest part of defense in basketball is rebounding. Jade went my player of the game, closely followed by Alexandra Gennaro, she had 18 points, Miles. She set the tone early. She had 14 in the first half alone. Miles, the boxers did everything right tonight. Yes, they did, and like you said, Gennaro set the tone this evening, hitting a couple of big threes, and I think that energized the rest of the starters because Jackson came and started doing her thing. Santos, Wade, they all pitched. It was just a great team effort this evening. Miles, Carver on Saturday, what does Brockton have to do? Do they have a few days rest? Do they hit the gym right back tomorrow for practice against another big Plymouth County opponent? Yeah, they hit. They, the coach is going to definitely have them come back tomorrow to do some practicing. They were out of school because of the snowstorm and everything. And he, I think the um, coach wants to keep them fresh and on the same tune that they came out here tonight. 73-42, to 42, the final score from Staff Gymnasium. The Brockton Boxers get a big win on senior night against the easternmost uh border town of Brockton, the Abington Green Wave for everybody here at Brockton Community Access. My broadcast partner, Big Game Miles Jackson. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game.